Welcome to the instructional video for Coffeyville Community College's Student Support Computer Software, also known as Raven Access. My name is Brad Weber and I am the Director of Distance Learning here at Coffeyville. Raven Access provides CCC students with online access to all of our student service offices. Offices students can reach from this particular software includes the Registrar's Office, the Financial Aid Office, and the Business Office. Within Raven Access, our students can accomplish such tasks as view and or print a copy of their schedule, view and or print an unofficial transcript, view their financial aid folder, and also have an itemized bill from the business office, along with paying money towards their bill. Let me go to my computer and show you how to log into Raven Access. All right. To access your Raven Access account, the first thing you will need to do is come to our main website, www.coffeeville.edu. Once you're on our front page of our website, um, a couple ways you can get to the Raven Access link. You can come and hover over Current Students. At the bottom, you see a link that says Raven Access. Or on the front page, you can scroll down and on the left, is another link for Raven Access. Either link you can click and it takes you to an information page uh, that explains uh, what we use Raven Access for. Uh, it's the student login uh, where you're able to see things like your grades and, and enroll in classes and student schedules and those types of things. From this page to the right you need to log or click on the Take Me to Raven Access. So click on the Take Me to Raven Access and it takes you to the login page in the top right corner. It will ask you for a username and a password. Uh, if you've applied and been accepted, uh, you should have been issued these. Your username is going to be your student ID number. Uh, so you'll input your student ID number into the username. If you're a student on campus, and have gotten your student ID. Sometimes on the back of the student IDs will be listed your student ID number. Occasionally they'll list those numbers starting with a zero. If your student ID number on the back of your student ID starts with a zero, you will not input the zero. The first uh, number should be a numeral other than zero. Uh, so we're going to log in and I'm going to put in a student ID number. The password set in the system will be the last four digits of your social security number. So the password is the last four of your social security number. Put those two items in, student ID number as the username, last four of your social for your password, and hit log in. It should chug on it for a second. Come back and in the, in the top right corner it'll say your name. Welcome back, in my case Brad A. Weber and have a self-enrollment waiver in the middle. Uh, the main offices, to get to the main uh, student service offices on campus, you have some red tabs along the top. One of them should be a red student tab. Click on the red student tab. Once you've clicked on the red student tab, it'll open up the student services offices along the left side of the screen. You have advising office, the business office, financial aid office, and registrar's office. Um, say you're wanting to look at your grades. Uh, you just finished a semester and you want to look at your semester grades. Um, you have the uh, from the registrar's office, you can see an unofficial transcript. So go ahead and click on registrar's office. It opens up uh, the registrar's office uh, that looks like this. Uh, you may click on registrar's home page. Uh, looks like we're on the registrar's home page. And then at the bottom of the screen, unofficial transcript you can view click on view unofficial transcript and it will show your grades and you can look up the term from where your grades were located at this is the only way that you can view your grades uh, we do not mail out a grade card or email grades out we post them to your transcript knowing that you have this system to be able to see your transcript and see those grades 
Uh, some other things inside the registrar's office that you may use. You can see our student schedule, classes you've enrolled in and what schedule. You can use a GPA projection. If you're on scholarship and need to maintain a certain GPA, you can put your classes in here and say if I get two A's, a B, and a C, what is that GPA project out to? And you can also see some different grades. Another grade, another way to see your grades is from different terms. And you can also see midterm grades from inside here. If you have the ability, you can also add and drop courses from inside here. You click on the add and drop courses over here to the right. It'll ask you what term you want to enroll in. This is, we're in the 2011, 2000 and spring term. This would include all courses on campus and online. If you're interested in just enrolling in online courses, uh, and, and uh, you can go into the 11, 12 spring mini is where most of the online courses would be located at. So say I want to look at the online courses that, that we have in the spring. I would click this to the spring mini. I could hit course search right here. Hit search again and it should come back with the online classes and you can see the last of the code OL stands for online. These classes have already started so it's not allowing you to enroll in those. We do have some late starting classes this semester, the ON courses and these if I wanted to enroll in this computer concepts class, I believe it starts the end of this semester, it starts March 9th, I could click right here, come down and put add courses and it would add that course to my schedule and I would be enrolled in that course. Other offices that you can look at, this is the registrar's office, and we'll click back up to student. You can also go, say, into the business office. You can click business office. If you want to see your account balances, course and fee statement, which would be a breakdown um, of what you've been charged, and also my account balances, some refund dates. But you can see those, and then also, pay from inside here, pay your bill, say if you have an account balance and would like to pay that balance. Uh, I am in good shape, I have zero dollars due, but if I had some money here I could come down and make a payment right here and it would take my credit card information to make a payment. Back to the front of the business office. Some other offices, we've done registrars in business. You can come into financial aid office and see specifically some of the documents you may need, see what you've been awarded, financial aid awards. You can, I can click on this and see if I've been awarded any financial aid or see what I'm missing, if they're missing any documents that I might be able to, uh, to use. And the last office is the advising office. If you would like to have maybe some, some advice uh, or some things from our advising office, you may come into the advising office and see maybe what classes you might be able to, to enroll in or what they would recommend. All pages are printer friendly. If you need to print anything out, even an unofficial transcript, you can print out an unofficial transcript in case you would need that to, to show mom or to show dad that, 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 that you've made it through classes. Raven Access is a student software we provide for our students. It allows the student to access lots of information on our campus and we hope that you take full advantage of that and are able to use that to the best of your ability. If you have any questions, please contact me at the following information. Thank you.